Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Lost Odyssey on the Xbox 360. Last time, we finished up our business in Ura by checking out uh, Gungora's mansion for uh, the Royal Seal, a cutscene, and a few items. So that worked out pretty good for us. And then we went to Ypsilon Mountain to get to a dream, which we're going to check out uh, probably next episode. So there we go. Uh, let's see, off screen, I looked around for more Kelalons and I gave up, but uh, I did get a few extra skills here. Uh, let's see. Kime, he got uh, max HP or max MP up, HP up three learn, so I put that on. Um, I just learned a few random spells or skills, pretty much. Uh, for skill links, so I set them all pretty much on various uh, Tolton skills. Um, Kime is going to be on the SP, uh, double SP, just in the rare event that said is not in the party at some point, and it's going to take the longest to learn, but just to have it for whenever Tolton. Uh, Said's not in the party. Everyone else is just working on various uh, double items and resourceful, pretty much. So that works out pretty good for them. Um, yeah, I'm just putting whatever available accessories on at the moment. But, anyways, let's get out of here and let's go to our next destination, which would be the exterior of the construction staff. Or, yeah, the uh, Grand Staff Construction. So let's go over there. I think it would be over here in the southeast. And if not, well, it's the northwest. So one of them is easy enough to figure out. Grand Staff Construction. We should be in the exterior part, I do believe. Let's see, we've got to talk to one of these guys, and they'll tell us... Uh, something that we can uh, do to help out. Oh, there we go. The pendulum has stopped. Oh, what do you know? It's those things again. Well, sucks for you guys. Yeah, it's not sounding too helpful there. Yeah, it's pretty bad, Jansen. Well, good thing we have Sid, I, I mean, Sid here to help out with this. Five turns of his trusted wrench later, and it's good to go. Six living brasses. Yeah, I guess that helps out a little bit. It's not, uh... Beautiful, but I do believe that, or it's not perfect, but it's, uh, I think you can make a, one of those critical hit rings up with it, I think. Let's see, hacker ring? No, not that. Where is it? Uh, gouging? No. Ah, there it is. Yeah, living brass. So we can make a extra critical hit thing out of it. There we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and sorry, had to sneeze. See, I know there's two buildings in here that we can go into to do stuff. Let's see. Resting room, no, this is not it. Let's try. This one down here, and I think it, I think the other one is that one where we had to sneak around the guards last time we were here. Okay, a temporary laboratory. So we want to talk to is it you? No, it's not you. It must be you then. Measuring what too far away? Uh, sure, I guess. Okay, Epsilon Mountains, Black Cave, Ice Canyon, and the Ruins of the Ancient Tribe. Okay, cool. Sure, shouldn't be that hard. Four Magic Cages, and then we have to just uh, set those at various uh, points that they mentioned. Luckily, they're all reasonably easy to reach. Reach. 
All right, now let's go to the other area that we can go for here. Uh, we're going to just accept this uh, particular quest. We're not going to go do it yet because, well, it's going to ask us to go to that uh, dungeon in Gungora's mansion. And, well, I don't feel like going through that right now. We could, but there's no need to at the moment. And you need what exactly? They probably don't. They probably don't care, really. So you want three magic capsules, huh? Sure, why not? I did say yes, didn't I? Let me get out of here and try again, because I might have accidentally hit it up to no by accident. Okay, I'm assuming that I said, said yes. I looked away from the screen for a second when I hit the button, so I might have said no, but... I hope I did not. Alright. Anyways, let's get out of here and... Do some other stuff. Alright, let's start off with going to... The Saman area here. Because we can turn in the uh, prickly seed that it wants. Because remember it said that the one in Saman liked it. Let's see, and I believe the peapot was over in this house, I do believe. There's the little bugger. Very excited, huh? Okay. You want the prickly seed? There you go. Seems like it would kind of hurt eating, but okay. Solid seed. I bet you eat that and you take a solid steel shit afterwards. Let's see. This seed. Let's see where it goes. The peapot and Ura. Okay. We can get back to that at some point. But for now, let's continue on with what we're doing here in Saman. Which is going to be a reasonably small detour. See, I think if we go in here. We can fix the jukebox. Sure, why not? Look at that, magic touch, magic touch said, strikes again. He barely even taps it, and when he knows it's good to go, it would get the ice water amulet, which is, uh, protects you from all water damage, I do believe. So that's actually pretty good. Yeah, nullifies water elemental damage, not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So yeah, see, it's worthwhile to go around and do this stuff, because you'll get some good stuff. I mean, if you wanted to save this for later, you could, but you might as well do it now. It's not like the world's gonna... It's not like the world's gonna... What is it? Implode if we don't help out immediately. Let's see. Now, there's somebody we can talk to here. Um, it's not you. Is it you? Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah, kicking stuff is always the best way to get things to work again there, kid. I can tell you that for a fact. Look at that. He just touches it one time with his finger and ta-da! Said, you're a champ, man. You are a champ. Ooh, five out of eighteen ores. Sounds awesome. Let's see what we can make out of, uh... 
those if we can make anything. That'd be great. Let's see, toxin effects, but no, we don't need those. Let's see, absorber rings. Huh, when did we get that? I don't know, but let's make that. Let's see, we have enough to make a pickpocket ring, but I don't really need that at the moment. Let's see, adamantine or. Okay, there we go, demolition ring. Let's make it. There we go. Hang on, what was that new one? Oh, Demolition Ring Ultra. Uh, oh, we don't have enough uh, Guardian Ores. We need 20. I thought we needed 6 for a second there. Alright, so we are done here. So let's go ahead and... We could go to... You know, let's actually go to... Uh, place the couple of magic seals and stuff that we have at the moment. Or magic... Uh, Whatever those things that we're using to measure items are. So let's start off with, or measure magic with, uh, so let's start off with uh, Ypsilon Mountains. And I think if we start at the south end, it'll start us pretty much near where we need to be. So I think this one has to be kind of near the uh, top of the area. Actually, you know what? Uh... Trying to figure out how far we actually have to go to set this damn thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and meet you pretty much where we fought uh, the first boss of the game at the top of the Ypsilon Mountain. So I'll meet you guys there real fast. That's where we have to go to place this first one. So I'll be right. Alrighty, we made it all the way to the peak of the Ypsilon Mountains. And now we just gotta figure out where to set the dang thing at. Why they couldn't have it just at the freaking bottom of the mountain, I don't freaking know. But no, they had to have it all the way up here. Uh, let's see, I know it's around here somewhere. Okay, where exactly do you want this damn thing? I know it's around here somewhere. This is where it's supposed to be. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's kind of magical, but I can't really see it myself. But there we go. There's our first little magic gauge. It looks like a little lamp. And so now, our next destination will be at the Ice Canyon. So I'll just go ahead and meet you guys over there, and I will be right back. Okay, I came up from the uh, mine entrance, and apparently if you, well, exit towards the uh, entrance that you came in originally when you first started playing, you get a little cutscene, and I didn't realize that. I'm not sure what's back in the Sea of Bows, but let's see. Okay, so we just get a tiny little camera angle showing us that we put it there, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe you'll get that scene uh, coming here at some point. I guess the uh, magic... Uh, gauge doesn't have to be with you. I, I have no idea. Anyways, I'll meet you guys at the Ice Canyon. Alrighty, finally made it out of that damn Ypsilon Mountains. It doesn't, I, I think going up from the original entrance is probably the quicker way, just because I don't like going through that dang mine area that I completely forgot about. But either way, you're going to take a while to get in and out, and you might as well fight the battles for the easy SP. I mean, just off of uh, running around doing that, freaking... Uh, two people have learned uh, slot plus five, and Kaim's working on it now, so he's doing pretty good. Uh, he's about to get double SP in a few battles here. Uh, let's see. Everyone's learning max HP ups. Uh, let's see, you got your slot plus five. Basically, everyone's learning a fair amount of everything here. So, you might as well have them 
run around in there. Wait a second, did I ever get you learning? Okay, good. So yeah, I might as well go for the easy SP while you got it. Anyways, let's see. Our next destination is the Ice Canyon. If we enter from the original X entrance, we should be pretty much right where we need to right need to be. I think it's like right at the entrance actually. Let's see where yeah. There we go. That's nice and easy like. And there we go. Oh, by the way, I think what uh, Kaim was saying is, oh, it's back, is I think uh, he was saying that the, what is it, Grant's staff is back where it's supposed to be instead of, you know, flying around. Oh, and that reminds me, um, off screen, like, I think it was actually before the episode, I just wasn't paying attention to I forgot. I got an achievement. It was... True warrior, so defeating a thousand enemies in battle. There we go. I'm assuming if you were grinding more than I am, which is really not that much, you probably could have got it earlier. All right, and then the last one we can do for right now is Black Cave on the north side here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, hurry up. And then, yeah, this one shouldn't be too far. I think it's pretty much right where we fought the uh, the queen, or the rough queen, or whatever. Yeah, there we go. Kind of weird to have Seth be the one to notice it. I mean, previously we had Cook, one of the magics, and who was it? Jansen, one of the magicals, setting it up, so... You would think that either Sarah or Ming would be the one to do it, but yeah, well, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really care at all, but hey, it just helps. All right, and now let's go ahead and let's see, where should we go now? I think our next destination is just going to be over in Goatsa. And let's go ahead and start with... Yeah, might as well start with south, I guess. Well, it's a bit uh, chilly over here, but at least I don't think there's any enemies, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and go down the ladder over here if we can. That'd be great. Because there is a few things over here to do. Got to get a few... Uh, treasure hunting tips and one more dream to polish off next episode yeah because next episode it's just going to be like four or five dreams so if you want to skip it well feel free I'm not going to care one way or the other let's see it should be no it's not you ah, there we go people like fighting just for the sake of fighting that's all it is Band of pirates, huh? Hey, yeah, looks like we gotta go look for ancient pirate treasure. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and. Well, I guess this way is not the way to go. So let's go the other way then. Let's uh, not kick the poor little puppy. Oh, I thought he was limping for a second. No, he's just moseying along. Alright, now we are in Lowtown again. So let's go ahead and find what we can find here. Let's go, I think, this way over here to unlock our dream that we're looking for. Why not? Ah, okay. Here we go. Yeah, we can't get to High Town, Middle Town. We're just stuck down here in a uh, good old Low Town, unfortunately. I think these guys will actually start selling to us now. 
There we go. No? They sound like they want to sell to us, but, uh, well, apparently they don't want to sell to us that much. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I won't find it cheaper anywhere else because no one else is going to sell me nothing. I'd love to buy it, but you won't let me, you bastards. Poor kid's going to choke to death. And we got another dream. And I think that's the last one for some time now. Or at least in a little... At least for a little while. Let's see. Who are we looking for now? We're looking for a guy named Gibble. And I think I'm on the long spot, wrong spot to find it. Okay, I think the uh, gibble that we're looking for is actually over this way. Oh, it is this guy. Okay, that was lucky. The mortal who what? Yeah, okay, if you say so. The Highlands of Wool, bring back the keepsake of Kent. The Highlands of Wool, wasn't that where we started the game? I don't think we can actually get back to the Highlands of Wool, now that I think about it. Yeah, we can't get anywhere near there. Okay, but either way, we still have to find uh, stuff for this guy. So let's go ahead and do that real fast because that's not going to take too long. And actually, I think we can get the other. Um, I think we can get. The, yeah, go away. I think we can actually get the uh, pirate's uh, treasure thing real fast. Should be reasonably easy. And then we should be pretty much done. This might be a slightly shorter episode, I'm not sure, because it's a segmented part. But, we'll live. In the next episode, there's definitely going to be at least some battling, because we're going to be doing, uh, well, some battling. And I'm not counting about just beating up on poor little Kelalons and Ypsilon Mountain. Which actually was said, it actually works out pretty decently for SP at the very least. All right, so let's go to Ura here. And let's talk to one of these guys right here, I do believe. Yeah, at least you got it. Yeah, yeah, I know about the landslide. I was there. Okay, sounds interesting. Barkus. Oh, that's the guy that never upgrades his shop throughout the entire game. Uh, now this guy should be able to take me to uh, Central Station Square, and hopefully he's there on the way back. That'd be great. And if he's not, well, screw him. So let's go down here, and Barkus should be the purple dot, I do believe. I think. Huh. 
Let's see, where is it? Should be right around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. All shiny. Broken Kent sword, okay. Got it. Yeah, I want to buy it. Uh, I'll give you uh, five gold for it. Hey, there we go. We got a nice broken Kent sword. Not that it's going to be of any real use to us. But somebody else will use it for sentimental value. Now hopefully that taxi didn't hightail it out of here. Let's go to the gate. Fantastic. Okay, actually, we can't get the other uh, treasure chest, uh, treasure hunt yet. It's uh, in a dungeon. I thought it was just uh, somewhere else. So never mind. We'll worry about that later. For now, let's just go back to Ura, turn this in, and then we're done. I'm not sure what the difference between south and east is here. Eh, let's just go to south where we were. Screw it. See, that didn't take too terribly long. I mean, it, yeah, it took a minute or two, but still, not as bad as running all the way to the top of freaking Epsilon Mountain, those rap bastards. Oh well. Hey, where did I go? Oh, I guess East just takes you down to the low part. Okay, that saves my, uh,. Travel time for later, I guess. I wasn't trying to exit that fast, but there you go. That works. Sure, I told you I would. Look, I kill everybody. It's nothing personal, guy. And we get the Happy Flower, which has the uh, Crisis Prayer ability. It basically restores a very small amount of HP when you get into critical HP status. Uh, I think that's what it does, actually. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of HP. Not a whole bunch, but eh, some. Anyways, we went ahead and did some more side quests this episode. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and actually head back to... Uh, that kind of hotel looking area in the back of the little town. And we're going to be doing some stuff in there. So guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.